Hey there, friends. Kevin here from the Chord Progression Podcast, the podcast inspiring young rock and roll fans to discover new music and find a place they can connect and feel accepted. On today's little tidbit, we have Woe Is Me on the podcast, and they've been gone for 10 years, and now they're back. And you might be asking, how did they come back? How did this all happen? We got the story for you right here. Before we do that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, to subscribe to the podcast, make sure you don't miss out on any great interviews. And with that, let's go. Alrighty, it's been 10 years since you guys released anything. What got you the inspiration to start this back up again, to come back, to not only go back out on the road, but start releasing new music as well? I want to know the story, guys. Dude, so <clears throat> I'll start this, Ben, and you can you can finish it, man. <clears throat> but you know, we, we kind of, long story short, we, we got a text uh, from, I got a text from a promoter in Dallas um, for Monster Mosh. And he was like, what's the probability of, you know, getting what was me to do an anniversary at this festival? And I told him, I was like, dude, there is no chance in hell. Um, fast forward two days, I get a call from Michael. And he was like, hey, man, we want to play bass for a what was me show in Dallas. And I was like, I was like, oh, shit. So this is actually like, like a real thing. So we kind of like gathered everyone and uh, you know, we made a group chat. And that's where it started feeling real, you know, like real. Like real. We were all talking in there. Um, and then, you know, a couple weeks later, we started rehearsing and I mean, after the two practices, dude, we knew we were like, we can't just one show. Like we're like, we're like, we're like fell back in love with each other. And like, we fell in love with the music. Uh, so we booked a hometown show the weekend after the monster mosh. Um, and then, you know, we, as, as things kept rolling, we were like, dude, we love this. Let's, let's start writing again. And let's like actually be a band again. And, um, yeah, man. Um, I mean, anything you want to add then? All right, so just take a listen to that tidbit once again. What was me essentially came back all because of just someone wanted them to come back and they decided just initially, oh, maybe this is not going to happen. Nah, no way. But by then just saying yes to the experience, look at what happened. They said yes, come back to Monster Mosh 2022. Then they decided, you know what? This is fun. Let's book a hometown show. And continuing to discover their love once again for music, for being a band, for what was me, has led them to continue to work on new music. I mean, Ghost released at the middle of April, I wanted to say, if I remember correctly. Then they are having more shows. They're going to be playing festivals. I know they're going to have more shows coming up in the future because the ignition to the love once again for music was lit in all these guys and all it took was one promoter one person to just ask and say hey you guys want to play this reunion show and even after they had initial nah no way man after Corey was like nah not having it other members of the band were like you know what let's give this a shot it's the willingness to be open to experiences that you loved once again you never know what's going to happen especially after time goes on after 10 years, you know, our perceptions change, our ideas change, our mindsets change, our values evolve as well because over the course of 10 years, we go through different things. I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I'm not the same person I was at 18 years old. Corey, Ben, and the rest of the guys, they're not the same guys they were in their early 20s. So they're realizing once again just how special what was me truly was to them and how much it makes them happy. And I got to give a shout out to that promoter at Monster Mosh once again because if it wasn't for that promoter being like, yeah, I want to have them come back. I want to try and make this happen. They Then what was me and I might not be back. The guys in what was me might not be tight anymore or, you know, tight as they were, as they are now. And just enjoying life, enjoying music, enjoying doing this. So the, the kind of takeaway we can all take away from what was me's return story is always be open to potentially returning to things that you loved in the past because you never know how special they were to you and what might come up from them. It's something that is incredible to really look into. It's something that's really incredible to get down to. And you're going to like what Woe Is Me has coming out in the future because their love is back there. So to make sure you check out everything that Woe Is Me has, you know, go to the link description of this uh, video. You'll see the link for the full podcast episode so you can, so you can enjoy the whole thing about what was me's return also make sure again you hit that subscribe button which is over here hit that like button to make sure the video does good in the algorithm and tell us what you think about what was me's comeback in the comments i'd love to hear what you have to say um on top of that thank you for your support enjoy more from what was me enjoy more from the corporate Russian podcast thanks guys this is kevin i'm out <laughs>